The rhythm of the breath equals the frequency of the brain waves over the state of the nervous system, right? Plus the condition of the fascia. So we're gonna get into the fascia, but just as a recap, if somebody is stressed out all day at work, high beta, answering lots of phone calls, right? What do you think is being transmitted through their nervous system during that time? Probably high stress. Now when they get home at the end of the day and they try to meditate, the body has been in high stress the whole time. So how do we help the body let go of the day so the mind can start to relax? Well, we first have to look at what's holding the nervous system tissues in place. And that's the fascia. Now the fascia is still being unboxed by medical science and I'm staying as much on the edge of that information as I possibly can. So what I have, I give to you. The fascia is a collagen fiber. And collagen is a triple helix tubular shape that transmits liquid through it and also around it. I like to imagine these as tiny little straws that hold our body together. And these straws are braided through our system in three different forms, ranging from very superficial gluey spider webs to industrial strength rubber bands that hold us together. So this would be an image of the superficial fascia just underneath our cheekbone. You can see it's very like a gluey spider web, right? And dense as well. This is more of an image of a thicker and denser type of fascia underneath the rib cage. For those of you that don't like medical um, images, don't worry, there's only a few. But you can see the dense.